Hey YouTubers, I've got something interesting to show you today. These are Mark's flat car loads and they're rather hard to come by and when you do find them people want an arm and a leg for them. Uh, I picked up a lot of these in the old days and I've picked them up from uh, second-hand stores and uh, antique stores and with piles of toys and I don't think people realize what they were because on the low end according to Greenberg's they go for a hundred dollars and on the high end they can go up to 150 and what you're looking at now is a bus the large bus and what you will see is they simply added this section onto the back of a dump truck and did not put the dump truck part on there so you'll see some de design in the top you'll see this has the uh, there were a lot of different grills a lot of different designs this has the pyramid grill with two dimpled headlights it's missing the fenders and it has no rear fender uh, there is a outline of a door on some of these there is not an outline of a door it would have been made when it was stamped it has a square windshield it has small axles otherwise in circumference they're very thin and uh, wooden wheels so let me get my hands out of the way and get a better look at this this one's in very good condition and I'll show you something else that's very close and this was the Mark's fuel truck and you'll also see a clamp on here that holds it on here's the clamp on the flat car there's one on both sides and it clamps around the running boards hold it onto your to your flat car while you're running around the track and what I neglected to show on the first one there's a small hole back here on the first red bus and that was for a key for a wind-up uh, motor and the bus in the fuel car have a u-shaped slot up here where you can move the front wheel to make it go in a circle only I've got a truck that's uh, not on the flat car. I'll show you how that works later. You'll see they set a very nice design on the top of the uh, was stamped out on the top of the bus. And you can see the tab sticking out here where they just put the top on here and flatten out the tabs and then painted it but basically you're going to say the same thing right here this is the marks dump truck and which actually dumps and what they did on the bus they just removed this dumping section and put the little section on the back with a uh, dumping with a uh, <laughs> dumping with the bus section and then put also the section on the back of the fuel truck for the uh, which would have held the fuel and here's the small hole passenger side they also put them on the uh, uh, pardon me it's on the driver side they also put them on the passenger side and they also use large holes and that would have been for the wind-up key for uh, one that had a clockwork motor see in the front it's got the unpainted grill dimpled headlights got the uh, bumper and 
and since this one is off the flat car you can see how this moves back and forth so you can set it to run straight forward or to run in a circle a kid could have it on a floor or a table and just run it in a circle this has no rear bumper uh, very small in circumference axles and wooden convex wheels some of these came with flat wheels let me check my two buses well the red bus has uh, flat wheels you never know what you're gonna find and the red fuel truck has flat wheels and these are also made out of wood now we come to something also rather close to what we've been looking at this is our marks steak truck and I come from a agricultural area so we see a lot of these around this does not dump the uh, tabs are bent in here in the front so it does not dump on an, and on your typical uh, steak truck that you would see on your farm truck it would not dump anyway you'll see a very large hole on the driver's side for the uh, key for a clockwork motor you'll see a little hole in the door and damned if I know what it's for you'll see a pretty poor stamping job where they attempted to uh, imprint a uh, door onto the body but it really didn't come out very well as you can see there's a little bit of rust on the uh, stake body no rear bumper however let me get this off of here real careful not to scratch the cars any more than they already are this it's got a little piece out of the wheel so you can definitely see this is wood these are convex wheels and you also see that this is a very thick axle probably close to an eighth of an inch and this is out of all of mine except for a uh, bus I'll show you later have a uh, very thin axles which I would say would be about 1 16th this once again has the uh, pyramid top of the grill dimpled headlights and it's got your full bumper and all these that I've showed you so far have square windshields they did make round windshields That's something that I left out there are so many differences on these now this is a Chrysler Airstream Chrysler made these between 1934 and 1937 marks made these once again we know they started them in 1937 they started advertising them in 37 and uh, we're assuming they went up to 40 we don't really know uh, this is your square grill instead of your pyramid grill and unpainted grill again dimpled headlights uh, this does not have a setting for turning the front axle to make the uh, car go round in circles it has the small uh, keyhole on the uh, driver's side and there's no attempt to make any imprint when they stamped it out of doors and you can see the this was part of the body they st stamped out you can see the rear bumper on here and a little tiny bat shaped window these are really cool and last but not least this is actually my favorite because the paint this is a wrecker 
and the paint is just worn so evenly you can tell no one has ever repainted it it's got a, a lot of wear but yet the blue shows up rather well I used a piece of a paper clip to replace the hook had no hook this uh, wrecker uh, body was of course added on to the back of the truck body it has no rear bumper it allows you to wind up the the uh, hook except the knots a little too loose on here I have to add a little piece of glue if I wanted to and I really have no reason to uh, all of my uh, cars let me check my Chrysler uh, my Chrysler has a split window I missed that but all these buses the diesel track the uh, the other tracks have square windows and they did make round windows so this has convex wheels they're made out of wood the thin axles this does not have the uh, ability to preset it for uh, turning around in circles you'll see the small hole for a key and I'm not sure if it's how well it shows up but they did definitely uh, stamp out a, a a outline for a door and you'll see a little stamped outline here for a little just to make it a little fancier for the uh, towing part of the vehicle and this also has the very thin axles now I'm not sure why Greenberg's shows these as flat car loads but it does this is the green and white litho spotlight car it's got the wire in front and the wire in back and then of course the there's a couple of varieties you get your pickup on the bottom and this works quite nicely and this is a flat car cable car and I wouldn't consider it a flat car load except Greenberg's listed as a flat car load since it's built into the flat car and you can't remove it but anyway this section is made out of wood the reel and the cable is just a heavy string as far as I know this is the original cable this came with a uh, Canadian Pacific work train set along with my first truck which got me interested in these auto loads and it came with this lumber truck lumber load and you'll see a spring along here to pull this little holding bar whatever you want to call it to keep this lumber from sliding around I put a rubber band on here and about once a year I notice the rubber band is rotted I add another one they also had these with uh, logs that were square it's a very nice car and this is your Mark's barrel car and the reason I know that these are Mark's barrels is because they are small and there are seven of them if you find eight then they're uh, aftermarket barrels and pardon me if you find six they are aftermarket barrels and you see the wire that holds them on it flops around a little bit and I always think of these as beer barrels so it's what they look like to me the old beer kegs in the old days now here's one of the more unusual marks vehicles and this is the marks bus small bus 
Now I'll compare it to the red bus that you saw earlier. As you can see, it's a bit shorter. And this is the van type bus. Uh, there is no running board to attach it to this flat car, so I simply put an extremely large magnet in there and it holds it onto that flat car quite nicely. And uh, I don't think we can see it. Yeah, the magnet's in the way, but it's got the Marks USA imprint on it. You'll see the pyramid uh, grill, fender, dimpled headlights. Uh, apparently, they never made these in a uh, clockwork because there's no hole for wind up. And these are old convex wooden wheels with the uh, one inch, one eighth thick uh, axle. And I think somebody has replaced this, these with uh, the appropriate rubber wheels. And let me, no, they're wooden, but they painted them black. This has a split window, little tiny rear window. This also came as a van. It would not have had these windows back here. It also came as a milk truck and would have had a large opening here. So it would have fit on your flat car and your holders, whatever you want to call them, your clamps, would have fit through the doors of the van. So anyway, there they all are. And I'll make a film with them running. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm glad I got these when I did because I couldn't afford to buy any more now. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.